Good Christmas afternoon, everybody. Um, <laughs> it's been a good morning. I... I feel very blessed. Um, I did not ask for anything heavy duty. In other words, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't want anybody to spend a lot of, let me rephrase that. I did not want anybody to, in my family or anybody period to spend a lot of money on me. Um, in fact, I was hoping for, I was thinking that if we can do a, a, you know, cheap, easy to get, won't cost us a lot of money, um, Christmas gifts. Granted, I did get Jerry Ann an iWatch because I think the iWatch would be good for her to help her, you know, monitor her activities and just all that kind of stuff. That way, not only that, but the, 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 the eye watch reminds you of, you know, stay, time to stand up, to, to relax and breathe, or just breathe because you're not getting enough oxygen or something like that. Uh, it, it has a lot of health features. Um, and that was my biggest thing, is for her to help her watch or monitor her, her activity and her health. Um, but... That was the only big thing I was looking to, you know, have purchased. Um, granted, because of the fact that I got it through our T-Mobile account, I pay, you know, it just adds an extra couple dollars, you know, extra five to ten dollars to my monthly bill, which is not that bad. Um, but it was a really good Christmas, and I. I I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to show you what everybody got me. Um, but the first thing I want to uh, the first thing I want to talk about and show you is, um, well, first off, I'll explain it. Does, do you guys know what a pickle prize is? Um, do you have the, uh, the tradition of hiding a ceramic ornament p pickle in the tree? And have people search for it, and if they find it, whoever finds it first gets the uh, pickle prize. Well, here's the funny thing. Last night, after everybody went to bed, I hid the pickle. A little ceramic pickle. No big deal. But the thing is, is I forgot where I hid it. So because of the fact that Jerry can't go looking for it, she knew what the pickle prize was because she was the one who wrapped it. Um... So I said, hey, Ma, uh, we have a pickle prize. Go look for the ceramic pickle. And she goes, "It it's a ceramic pickle. And I'm like, yeah, it's a ceramic ornament that looks like a pickle. You know, granted it was really small because we couldn't find the other one, uh, our big one. Um, but the thing is, is I put it in there. I forgot where it was. So I couldn't even guide Mom to where it was. The thing was... Jerry knew the prize was just a game, so it wasn't like a big deal of who found it or whatnot. But the pickle prize game was called is called Watch Your Mouth. Basically, it's a game where they have this piece of plastic where you stick it in your gum line, hold your mouth basically open, almost like a dental device, and basically what it is is. Um, They've got cards on there with with phrases, and you're supposed to say the phrase, and everybody around you is supposed to guess what you're saying. Yeah. Um. I've never played it before. Jerry has, um, probably at one of her sister's houses. Who knows if it's going a game we'll ever play here unless we get Julie back or other people that Jerry can play with because I. I don't know if I'd play that game for a number of different reasons. Not just because of my bad teeth, but just... I don't even know how to describe it. Um, Jerry got me for my role-playing game, Dungeons & Dragons, which I... 
I'm trying to get in touch with a group that plays it that they're going to be ba uh, starting back up sometime in um, January, I think. I think most of these guys are college guys, so I'm hoping to see what happens. Um, but she got me the essential kit for D&D. &D. Um, sorry, I have to put my glasses on to read the back of it, but it's got... A mat for the DM to be behind different um, quests, maps, and cards, as well as dice. So, when I open it up, I'll give a real good look. Uh, <coughs> um, now, hold on a second. This next item, sorry, I had to take a pause to uh, deal with something else. Was a gift from Destiny, one of Jayanne's friends. I may or may not recognize the name from my thing. But it looks like a metal book, right? Now, I'll be honest with you, when I picked it up underneath the tree and I felt it, I was like, somebody's sending me a very big book. But it's actually from... A Williams and Spencer tea bar. I like tea, but this is going to be interesting because these are six different flavors, 10 bags total. So like 60 bags, I'm sorry. So there's 10 bags of each of these teas and they're not your regular type of tea. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really... Let's see if I can see what it... it So it's basically, by the sounds of it, okay, each of these flavors are a infusion of an alcoholic beverage in tea leaves, mostly black tea. And there's whiskey, bourbon, cognac, rum, scotch, and brandy. And I, when I saw the scotch one, I was like, ooh. Scotch flavored tea. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to definitely try that one. But I will give each one of these a a sampling um, to see if I which ones I like most. But it's like the gift. I I, I tell you, just the packaging alone is awesome. Probably hide another book in here. Not that I would do something like that. But some of you decided, sorry, I forgot the name already. I just talked to Jerry about that. Um, I'm sorry, I am very forgetful from, from names. I really, really, really apologize because you had to give it some really good thought. And I know I am, I'm not a big alcoholic person, but I do like my... Um, when I can afford it, I do like the scotch. But, I, it's just straight up brandy. I do like that bourbon. Is there a bourbon in there? Yes, I do. There is a um, dessert dish I sometimes get at um, Applebee's. It's either Applebee's or every so often when we go up to... Uh, go to, uh, um, not Applebee's, um, Fridays, and they have a bourbon-infused, um, bunt cake, or sponge cake of sorts, and I love that flavor. Um, next thing I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna explain something real quick, I know some people might be, and I bought this for myself, um, a very good friend of ours, um, I think around my birthday, I can't remember when I got it, but a really good friend of ours sent me um, a $50 Amazon card. Now, the, the person will not be named, but I really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate it because, like, ooh, I can get myself a few things. Well, I did. Um, 
one of those things, because I don't remember exactly what all I got myself without looking. Well, it wasn't just for myself. It was two items for myself and an item or two for the house. Um, but I got this little, looks like a little tabletop, right? Four inches. Um, I got it to display certain items on there. Um, one of which might be a gnome or, or something like that. But it's a, it's classified as an altar table. And I looked at it and went, that's too small for an altar table. But it's got the, um, Celtic knot symbol in it. I thought it was really cool just for the artwork more than anything else. But, um... Yeah. Ew. Here's something that my wife got me from, for Christmas. She gave it to me early. It's kind of cute. I don't know. I was thinking about putting it out in the kitchen because it's a kitchen gnome or chef gnome. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. But he's cute. There's a few things in here that... Um, print of ours sent me a new I don't, I don't want to call it a hoodie because it's not a real hoodie but it's like a nice oh, gray jacket I can wear it for outside I can wear it inside if I get too cold right now the house is nice and warm it's a sunny almost last time I looked it was like 66 degrees outside and I'm sitting there going ah great I'm in Arizona again with all this warmth. Don't like the warmth on Christmas Day. I like, I think it, like things to be white and snowy. And then Jerry got me a hoodie, a nice green hoodie. And we were talking about um, making some designs from the cricket that she has to put on this thing. And I was like, hmm, green. I wonder what kind of, you know, pictures want that I could put it on. Oh, Harry Potter talked about it, but she got us matching Harry Potter pajamas. Like, I need more pajamas right now, but that's all right. Hey, I'll take it. I won't complain. And then... She also got me two other shirts. One of them, <laughs> I'm gonna open up, open up, and let you guys see it. But I'm just gonna let you read it. An apple a day will keep everyone away, and uh, if you throw it hard enough. I was like, yeah, that's about your personality. I'll go ahead and, you know, she got it for me. And I was just kind of like, yeah. There's a couple of people I know I like to throw an apple at. But, um, that's usually when I'm in a bad mood. And then she got me a beautiful shirt. It's got the, um, Vikings, uh, the, the, Assassin's Creed Viking symbol for Valhalla. And it says on here. Live like, think like, conquer like, Viking. And the Assassin's Creed symbol, I do believe, is supposed to be like. It's supposed to be an A. Even though it looks like twin axes. Um, I really like that. Now, let's see here. Uh, I have a sack down here, uh, like a Santa sack, so it's kind of funny. Uh, let's see here. I gotta show you certain things in sequence, otherwise it might not make much um, sense to everybody. Mom went into my Amazon wish list and got me a couple of books. I'm like, oh, yay, I've got more stuff to read. I'm going to be reading for the rest of my life, which is fine by me. But the first one I'm going to show you, I was like, oh, 
I didn't think she'd get it for me. Or I didn't think I anybody would get it. But it's by Neely Oliver. Neely Oliver and there's another Neely are two of the top art authors on a bunch of different um, Viking type books. But this one is The Vikings. And it's an archaeology archaeologist goes beyond the Vikings' bloody reputation to search for the truth in a new and groundbreaking history. The funny thing is, this gentleman and the other person, um, they've written about f finding evidence up and down the east, east, you know, as far south on on the coastline. As well, as far north as Nova Scotia, all the way down to the Carolinas, and then along the um, U.S. Canadian border around the Great Lakes, all the way over to Minnesota. It's probably one of the reasons why I want to move to Minnesota is because they found a lot of stuff along the Great Lakes in Minnesota. But I am. Ooh. Oh, some various different um, pictures and whatnot of the different places, maps. Cool. This is going to be interesting. The other book she got me that I was thinking about because I was just like, I need something to further boost my self-esteem or whatnot. And I don't know if this would be considered a self-help book or not because... This was written by a football coach, a retired football coach. Um, and it's entitled, Think Like a Warrior, The Five Inner Beliefs That Make You Unstoppable. And I I saw that and read some of the information that um, Amazon had. it, And I went, oh, this sounds very interesting. Because it's inspired by a coach not just a random person writing this but according to this the coach kind of he read various books from other great coaches throughout history so I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. I'll read that just to see how inspiring it is. Because sometimes it's great to find inspiration from an outside source that you have no connection to. And you're like, this guy is just a retired coach who's gone through ups and downs and good times and bad times. And he literally writes a book on how to get over it, basically. Sorry, I'm, my lips are chapped, so forgive me if I'm licking them. Uh. Um, Jerry, <laughs> because I've been wearing lightweight, um, what we call skull caps over my head to keep it warm. Uh, thinking about shaving it again because it's starting to get a little too uh, long but she got me two wool type skull caps for when I go outside the house I can keep my head warm this way and they're nice I mean I put one on earlier and I was just like oh it goes and covers all my head back of my neck my ears my forehead and I'm like this would be great you know because my other wool hat is really big and I have to fold it up and it's just like, it gets annoying. She also got me one of these deals. Um, that way I can wear like one of the skull cap ones and then I can put this, put this on first cause it put the skull cap on and this will, this will like cover up my, well here let's turn it upside down and get that tag out of the way. I can pull it up like this and not have to worry about a mask and keep my face warm at the same time. 
Then she got me because I've been complaining my feet get cold in the house. Heated heat holders. So it will literally trap the heat of my body and legs and whatnot and keep my feet warm that way. Which is kind of like, hmm, that's, that's going to be interesting. One of my, one of our, I should say, not mine, but kind of more mom's friend, didn't know what to get me for Christmas. Understandable. And this item that I was given from them, which is kind of interesting, um, doesn't say what year, just says world. Um... But it is the World Almanac Book of Records. And I'm like, ew, interesting. Because they've got practically everything in here. I mean, adventure, animals, art, computers, electronics, engineering, architecture, entertainment, record breaking. Photos. Fantastic feats. Geographic and demographic. Hobbies, pastimes, medicine, anatomy, nature. On the move. Pop culture, science, space. Record breaking photos number two. Spanning the world and it goes to different countries. I just have to look. Oh, it's Germany. Ireland. The United Kingdom. That's about it. Nothing about Norway. <laughs> Norway's always doing some strange stuff. Sports. Which don't interest me one bit. Record breaking photos number two. The United States of America. Various different information on there and then of course there's subject index and all that fun stuff there's gonna be another look a book to read not too many books not that i'm complaining about books mom got me something that she Basically, she was going to take it out of the package to wrap it. But as soon as she opened it up, she got like a, excuse the noise, a um, nose full of fragrance that she couldn't, that caused her to start sneezing. Yeah. It's from a group called Thrive. Basically, skincare, prior, uh, Powered by regenerative plants. Daily defense natural skin care kit. Now, she said she pulled it from my um, wish list from Amazon. I just don't remember putting this on there. But, hey. They have a daily defense sunscreen balm. And a powerful face wash. Okay, that's a face wash. Hey, I'll try it. I, you know... Obviously, if I put it in my uh, wish list on Amazon, it was something I wanted. Um, let's see here. Getting some of the small stuff because there's an item in there that I want to <laughs> I want to talk about, but a uh, little packet of gum from Trident. And of course, my other stocking stuff are something that I have a hard time not getting during. Yes. Sorry, can you hear I could use your help? Sure, sure. What's the matter? You need to throw. You need to throw. Uh huh. Can't use the electric part. And now I've got it plugged in, and I can't get it unplugged. Why can't you use the electric part? So you put it on your bed, 
Uh huh. And the connection is down here. Uh huh. I've got a 13 foot electrical cord, which is great. I can uh -huh. put it under the bed. The cord on the controller is about three feet long, which means it would hit me right about here. Yeah. Okay. So I figured, okay, I plugged it in. I'm trying to unplug it so I won't use even bother with the collector. Can't unplug it. It's got little buttons right. and I can't. All right, I'll come in there in a little bit. Idea. No problem. But you can still use it. I'm going to use the thrill part. I just can't use the electric part. Well, we were thinking that you would use it in your office and put it across your lap. That's, and... that's true, but I really don't need it in my office. Okay. I just needed something extra underneath that other one you gave me. Okay. Because, you know, we were thinking you'd use it for either in your office or when you came out here to sit and watch movies or something like that. You can plug it in and... But it doesn't work on my bed. Yeah. Well, we weren't thinking about your bed. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, we got mom a beautiful um electric throw blanket um for like like I said, sitting in the office, sitting out in the living room when we were all together watching movies or playing games, she'd have something to wrap herself in to keep warm. Um, I guess what she wanted to use it for doesn't work the way she wants to, but Hey, it's a thought account. Um, but anyhow, I was saying it's one of the thing, one of the candies I have I have trouble staying away from during the winter season. And these candies, uh, mint. I love these guys. I love the the Andy's candies. Um, Dre had bought a three pack of six foot long charging cables for our iPhone devices. Or Apple devices. So she got... Each one of these came in a, in a stocking. And then with that, she got these little Velcro straps to go around it. So you can not have six feet of cord laying all over, all over the place if you don't need it. And because I keep on misplacing my sunglasses, even though I did find a pair. She bought me a pair... I can't even read the price on it. But she bought, she bought some really good ones that um foster grants basically she said don't lose these these were not a dollar tree purchase and i'm like my last good pair were not a dollar tree purchase either it just seemed to me like the dollar tree purchase ones they you, you can find those faster than the, the ones that you really want Of course, also in my stocking was, oh, two different chapsticks. Ba basically, both of them from Carmax, but one of them's wide and one of them, the other one's narrow. So, and one thing that she got that I found in my stocking, which was so cute, and she knows me too well, of course, was. I can only do these one at a time. But a set of three cute little Christmas gnomes. I mean, come on. She knows me too well. They're cute. She said, she told me that, you know, because of everything that's becoming more Nor Norwegian or Nordic in theme, um, especially in here, um, she said, why not? I can put them on my little, um, bookcase there. Uh, oh, she also got both of us a matching pair of supernatural t-shirts. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but. Um, or we were both fans. I'm we still are fans of Supernatural. Um, I just can't wait to see what they do. Cause they got the, I can't even pronounce their names, but the two actors that played Tim and Dean, one of them is already doing his, it, doing a show of some sort or a movie. The other one, I can't remember what he said he was doing or if he's semi-retired until Something he wants to do comes along his way. J 
Dre also got me um, to put up in here um, string lights, and they can they're and they're chain, color changing. Um, I don't remember if they're battery or electric or or not. And they're waterproof, so you can use them outside, and they're flexible. Fifty thousand hours worth of use, durability. Um, DC twelve volt. All right. DC direct current, so that means it can be plugged in. I think that's what that meant. Then she got a game for us. She played it with um, her bestie's daughter down in Texas. Now, I've seen this game before, but I've just never played it. So, and it's... By the looks of, of it, it's foldable. So, it might be able to transport it wherever I want to go. Oh, it's going to fall. Now I'm going to show you the last, last of my presents. Um, there's been a kind of a running joke or play on words or however you want to put it. Um, about the iPad. iPad that Jerry's been using the most of and um, doing, you know, all her, most of her stuff on it, playing around. And I, I have no problem with that, but you know, it's sometimes it's hard for me to ask for, ask to use or play around on the iPad because she's enjoying it and having fun and whatnot. And I don't, I, I explained to her one night the reason why I don't ask for it is because of the fact that I've got my phone and you're playing on it and whatnot. And I don't want to disturb you. You've got all your stuff on there. I've got some of my stuff on there. We've, we've deleted stuff of mine and yours, the whole nine yards. And the joke is from Jerry's end is it's our iPad. You can ask to use it whenever you want. I don't mind. And I'm like, well, I understand that you don't mind. But my thing is I have... I'm, I'm the type of guy that doesn't just, you know, can I have the iPad? I want to play on, I want to play on the iPad. I know she's offered a lot. But anyhow, like, that's been the running gag. Or the running, like, who gets to play on the I, iPad. The iPad. So, you know, I kept on, you know, throwing hints out there, but not, like, getting all upset we weren't going to get one for me because... I knew money. I knew money is tight. Well, I also know that around Christmas time we tighten our belts and spend less on food so we can um, have a nice Christmas. Now, with all the things going on, I kind of went. I I was already prepared to have a minimal, just little thing. A lot of the stuff I've gotten already that I've already showed you, I, I'm kind of like. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in mouth, but mouth, but um, I didn't expect this. Well, I didn't expect what I'm about to show you either, because I was kind of like, at first when I started opening these things, I'm gonna try to show you how I, you know, in the sequence I opened. And Jerry was really good at playing this cool, but the first th the first thing I opened was like, why, why is she giving me or buying me? And she was like, oh, so when you go to play on the tablet, you can, you know, do whatever you want. So she got me a, I opened this up first and I went, okay. Table gooseneck holder. So it can clamp on the side of a table and hold a tablet on a net, on a device that you can shape it or position it however you want. And I was just kind of like, um, why am I getting this? And she's like, oh, so when you go to use a tablet or not, you can, um, you know, set it up however you want. And I was like, okay, sure, no problem. 
And then she got a bundle pack from QD. Yeah, from QVC. I, I'm not even going to go look at the price. But the next thing I opened up, I was just kind of like, um, what? And I'm like, tablet essential starter kit. Fits iPads and tablets up to 10.5 inches. And I'm like, okay. Um, okay. I don't understand. And again, I was like, why are you giving me this? She goes, well, in case you want to, you know, use the tablet. Kept on going about using the tablet. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't need a starter kit. I don't need a, a tablet essential kit. So I was kind of like, uh, okay. But the way she kept on playing it was like for me to use with the current, our current, um, tablet. And then I got this air essential keyboard case and i didn't even open this but there's a little window it almost looks like some sort of camo camouflage and then i opened up the last of the gifts because she wanted me to have to make sure i grab this last but she's like oh uh, yeah i should have marked them for a certain sequence so i remembered which one you were supposed to open first I, at first, hold it, I, at first I held it in, because at first I was like, why did you buy this? This is not a cheap item. Granted, the iWatch was not cheap, but I got it through T-Mobile, our phone company, so I can pay it off monthly. She goes, oh no, it's on payment plan. And I'm like, I, I just about busted, ball, busting out balling, because I was not expecting this in fact i kind of because of all of the things that she was saying between the stuff that i opened up first and all the things that we she kept on saying about anytime you need to use it you let me know and of course when i first started talking about a second ipad because i know the one she has is, is outdated she's like no you, all you have to do is ask me and i was like well part of the thing is is the, the memory on the old iPad um, has been taken up by her stuff. And I didn't want to say her, your stuff, but I just like, memory's kind of full. I can't really do what I want to do with it because of all the extras. <sighs> but when I open, when I because the way the package was is she had learned a new folding technique to make a really pretty design of different folds and whatnot. So I was trying to open up the the wrapping paper without tearing it open like I normally it's just like a kid. <laughs> um but I was like, ooh, this is pretty. Let's not d damage it. I opened up the end and I saw this. And I just looked up at Jerry and said, No, you did not. It's too expensive. And she goes, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay. Because I knew immediately when I saw the end, I was like, oh, she did not get me a new tablet. And I wasn't expecting an Apple tablet. I was thinking, oh, if I can get something that's not Apple, but having something that's not Apple won't connect to my Apple devices. So I don't worry about it, you know. And I literally told her, don't worry about it. If we can't afford it, we can't afford it, you know? I'm just kind of like, I was floored. Uh, I mean, I think mom, I think Jerry, I think our friends who got me Christmas gifts, I was not expecting the mother load. I mean, Gotta take all this to the bedroom and fill apart with it tonight and get it set up. Help Jerry get her iWatch connected to her phone. It's been a really good Christmas. I mean, it, better than I thought it was going to be. And granted, I did get the little kitchen gnome before Christmas. These pajamas last night. 
Um, Dre had gotten me a card for points for one of my games before Christmas, like middle of December. Um, I've been blessed with this alone. I mean, Christmas sometimes help you see what you're blessed with. Sometimes you kind of go, oh, I don't know what it's going to be like because my biggest concern about Christmas was just the factor of Jerry being home and healthy or as healthy as possible. I mean, ugh. excuse me. Cancer is a real bummer and it can be painful and somewhat dev devastating to, to deal with on a regular basis, but Jerry's been really high spirited and in in a good place. She's happy. She's been very positive. Um I can't think of anything that I would want more for Christmas is just Jerry's happiness, Jerry's well being. Um no. I could wish for more, and, and and I don't mean more for myself, but... Oops, where my glasses go? Uh-oh. Um, but the thing is, just to, to have her home and being positive and all that stuff is... I don't know the best way I can put it is a blessing in disguise, because... I mean, there are some people who have some major issues with health and whatnot and it could drag them down during Christmas time which could cause more melodrama or however you want to put ow however you want to put it I just put my Christmas sack with all these goodies on my foot um but I'm just I'm just happy I mean, for all the different reasons, not just, I mean, the, gr the the gifts and all the stuff that I got were great, but, um, being with family, um, enjoying the holiday, doing all the things anyway. And of course, after we open our gifts, because it's kind of a tradition around here, as soon as the gifts were open, um, I went to see what everybody wanted, you know, what, what kind of breakfast to deal with. Because usually, when I have family members over visiting, such as my aunt um, or other people, I usually try to make a large Christmas uh, morning breakfast. Well... Um, mom wasn't really too keen on having a breakfast because she just wasn't feeling all, not that she wasn't feeling all that well, but she was just not sure of how her body would react for having two meals, two big, two big meals. Um, so I'm... It's not that I'm upset that she didn't want breakfast. I'm just kind of like, okay, um, you know, I'll do. Okay, I had a few things disappear already. My other gnomes. I'm missing three gnomes. Oh no. I'll put it out. They might have fallen back into the sack. But, um, I just. I'm just so thankful to have a Christmas with Jerry. Um, I am... Um, I'm not going to worry about, you know, how many more days we may have together or anything like that. I'm just going to worry about one day at a time. Today was Christmas. We had We've had a beautiful Christmas so far um 
today is going to be my day of rest. Uh, because as soon as I wake up tomorrow morning, um, I got to start cleaning. I'll probably come in here and do a, a post-Christmas uh, um, video. Um, oh. Since I have not had a video up in, in a couple of days. I'm sorry, I'm going to move you back over closer to me. Um, I haven't had a video up in the last couple of days because I've just been busy with cleaning for the holidays and getting things wrapped up and taking... Jerry has had literally since Monday. Every day this week has been a doctor's appointment of one form or another. Um... You know, I don't know if she had one on Monday, but Monday was busy with a lot of grocery shopping and a lot of running around, errands and whatnot. Um, Tuesday was... A, Tuesday was an appointment, and then we, as a couple, went and did a few little things we had. No, that was Thursday. We had... Uh, um, we had, uh, we went out to, for breakfast together. Well, Tuesday was definitely an appointment. No, Tuesday we didn't go out because back-to-back -back appointments. Um, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Wednesday was an uh, AM appointment, and that's when we went out to, we, what did we do Wednesday? Wednesday was a very busy day. So was Thursday. Um, Wednesday was the doctor's appointment. And then we went to um, IHOP for breakfast, brunch, however you want to put it. And then we came home. Thursday was um, doctor's appointment in uh, around 11 or 12. Came home, we relaxed. We went out and watched... Um, Fudge, what movie was it we just... Oh, we just watched uh, Spider-Man No Way Home 3D as a date night type thing. And then here it is Christmas. So basically when we got back from the movie Thursday afternoon, um, we had dinner. Kind of like a fence for yourself trying to empty out the... Uh, refrigerator of leftovers so we can have room for leftovers tonight because there's most likely going to be some leftover ham maybe a leftover sweet potato or two or half a sweet potato I don't know um probably some leftover mashed potatoes from mom and some kind of vegetable if I have what I think I have it's just going to throw it in Throw it in the microwave, let it nuke, pull it out, doctor it up, put it, okay, yeah. And then, mom and I don't, my, we forgot to get desserts for today. And I don't think there's anything open that I can run to, to get a dessert dish. Which is fine, because like, I will eat the keto free, or not the keto. I will get, I will eat that, that, I don't know if it's sugar free or it's some sort of dietary type ice cream by Briars. Simply something or other. Vanilla or chocolate. And I'll eat either one of those. Because if I eat the vanilla, I'll put chocolate syrup on it. If I eat the chocolate, I'll just eat it as is. Um, or go one scoop of chocolate, one scoop of vanilla. Mom's got her little ice cream cups that she can turn into a dessert. We have fresh berries. Blueberry and strawberry, so... Mom can make herself a Sunday. Um, but yeah, dinner's gonna be nice. It's gonna be simple and easy. Read the instructions on how to cook the ham, so I'm like, okay, cool. Um, but because I haven't had a video out in a while, and I'm sorry, this is gonna be a long video. Um, I wanted to talk about. Somebody asked me because I had forgotten to do a video. But somebody asked me how the um, party was for my 
my job. And I will tell you, it was fun. It was very interesting. I've never... I, it's not that I've never gone to a Christmas party before. But I've never done it the way they did it. Um, of course, they had all... You know, they had food and whatnot. They had... I uh, can't remember if it was baked or braised brisket. Um, they had Brussels sprouts. They had... Um, dinner rolls, uh, um, um, sweet potatoes, or, or baked sweet potatoes. They're like, what we do is we peel them and then cut them up in chunks and then put the brown sugar glazing type stuff, uh, mixture and butter, of course, and cook them that way. Um, and then they had like chicken fingers and french fries for I think it was geared more, mostly towards the younger the young kids there's only a couple of them but a n number of adults um, took one or two uh, chicken tenders for themselves and of course they had dessert they had pumpkin pie, apple pie they had to drink uh, what did they have to drink? water, coffee or unsweetened tea so it was a nice little party, uh, well, food-wise. And then here comes, here comes the fun. It's something they call the White Elephant Game. And basically what it is, is whoever is in charge of the festivities or, or the setup or whatever, however you want to put it, uh, one, actually it was one of the execs, um, They, they basically would go over and count all the presents that were available to be, you know, handed out or exchanged. Um, and then what she would do is she'd take a card and write numbers on the cards for how many presents were, they were there. And you'd come up and get your number. I was one of the last numbers because I was smart that way. Um, but... What happens is the first person who has a number, they can't do anything but go up and get a pro get a present and unwrap it in front of everybody so we can all tell what it was. Um, I'm not going to say what it was because the fact that it was what I put in the pile for uh, the giveaway. But once number two comes around, number two, the second person can either go get a, a present. Or take the present from number one. And number one would have to go back and get one. So basically throughout that whole venture. Um, it was people basically looking at other people's stuff. Before going up to grab a present. And one of my dear friends and whatnot. Who I now get to work with. When she's there. Um, I don't work with her directly. But I. In the morning times we're pretty much working together. Um, and we're all working together because we have to help each either a we have to do our stuff for our venue or B if you have time or, or you're done with your stuff you can help everybody you can help somebody else out but um the prize that she got was a um, basically a Reese's hot chocolate set and it was basically two cups with the word Reese's on it, and three different flavors. One was peanut butter cup, the other one was Reese's Pieces, and the third one was I don't know if it was M&M &M flavor or what flavor it was, but it was a neat looking little box set. And she was like, uh-uh, nobody's taking this. No, no, not unless you want to get beaten. Because we all know we're all joking or whatnot. But one of the other co-workers came over and took it. And then they, uh, I forgot what, uh, they, uh, okay, he gave her his item and took her item or something like that. But the fun thing was I'm sitting there, I get up there to get my, my little thing and one of my direct co-workers got a T, uh, got, her present was six different, uh, 
a bunch of different flavored teas, um, herbal teas. And she was like, I don't know what I want to do with this. I got an herbal tea. And I said, here, we'll do a quick exchange. You'll take this ornament, which just said peace on earth. Um, and I'll take the tea because, you know, what are you going to do with the tea if, if you take it? You're going to throw it away? And she was like, yeah, probably. So, but the whole thing with Jackie was, is um, Jackie lucked out. Because the person sitting next to her went and took the Nestle tea for himself. And that person had to go get a gift and and whatnot. But somebody had basically given a gift. There was a, 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 an extra gift that nobody had a card for. Nobody took the card for. Or the person who put the gift down didn't stay for the White Elephant game. So, um, they did this, you know, guess the number. And whoever's closest to the number gets the, uh, last card or last gift basically and my co-worker who originally got the uh nestle got the right number and was able to get the last gift and she goes uh -uh, i'm taking my nestle back <laughs> so it was a fun night I, I will have to say it was a really fun night uh, they also had uh the ugliest yeah the ugliest sweater competition and basically the three people, basically there's different, three different people who were considered, you know, first one, second one, third one, they all got a, I didn't see what it was, but it was a box set of something, but it was just fun. I definitely will go back to, if I'm there next Christmas, um, I'll definitely go back to that. I'll, I'll definitely continue doing that thing. Um, but I'm finding that a lot of these, um, I don't know if you'd say alumni or school, um, sponsored events for the employees. I think I'm gonna start attending more of those because it just fun camaraderie type thing. But anyhow, I am going to go ahead and sign off. This has been a 50 plus minute video and Sorry, but not sorry. I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed me um, showing what you got, what I got for Christmas. Um, hopefully, it wasn't one of those like, oh, he's showing off type deals. Um, so that's not what I intended. I'm finding that with every day of learning how to deal with the situation here at home and trying to look past the the pain and the negativity and the hardships and whatnot that something like this which brings me joy um hopefully brings some joy into your world as well because it's one of those like i'm not doing it to say hey i got this this and this i'm doing it more for the joy of get, the not only just the joy of receiving but to see how my mom and my wife face brightened up with with genuine joy and not moodiness or whatever was more to me was more than any of these gifts combined could cost i mean or worth value however you want to put it because i don't put a price tag on joy i don't put a price tag on you know being joyful or trying to find the joy in the darkness that cancer brings. Um, so, looking, trying to look past all the the hardships and the health issues and and all that fun stuff, it it it's hard sometimes. So just getting, I mean, literally, if these two books. And the shirts and clothes that I got was the only thing I got for Christmas. That wouldn't, I, it wouldn't matter to me. Because it's like, it's not me, it's not the fact of me receiving these items. It's the joy and camaraderie of giving gifts to each other. Um, seeing faces brought, uh, light up when they receive their gift. I mean... 
I was half tempted to just say, here, Jerry, take my watch, my iWatch. Um, we'll have to find a way to connect it to your phone and disconnect it to mine. But then I was like, you know what? The, so the face of the watch band, uh, the watch itself, mine would be too small for Jerry. It's sometimes too small for me. So I got the newer, bigger, fancier type watch. Um, am I jealous? No. No, I'm happy. I'm happy because in fact now she has a watch that she can customize to her preferences and set it up the way she wants to and get all the, um, download the apps for the health tracking and whatnot that connects to her. It will connect between phone and watch. You can even look at it on your phone or you can look at it on the watch. It will ping or vibrate or whatever to say, hey, time to get up, move about, do something. Or, hey, um, you're not breathing properly. Something's wrong. Take a breath. Take a breather. Slow down. Whatever. Um, so I'm hoping with the watch, it'll help motivate her to do more, to get up more, to, to exercise more, to keep track of her calories burnt, being burnt off, keep track of her distances walked or rolled or whatever you want to put it um so i have to help her connect her watch to her device she's going to help me connect my new device to my devices it's going to be a night of how oh, let's play with new electronic gadgets and get them working up up and running the way we want them to so i hope you guys had a very merry christmas I hope you're enjoying your time with your family, your friends, the whole nine. And I'm hoping for a blessed new year. I know I'll be on here before new year or new year's day. So I will see you. Oh, hold on a second, folks. Um, you guys know what to do down here. Thumb up, thumb down, your choice, your preference, comments, questions, whatever in the comment question section. If you're a new viewer and you like some of the things that you saw or like some of the things you heard or you've watched other older videos that you thought were interesting and whatnot, maybe if you haven't sub subscribed today, today would be the day that you decide to hit the subscribe button. If you do, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, you're now part of the wacky, twisted family that we are. Um, but once you hit the uh, subscribe button, a little bell will pop up you click on that and when you click on a bell youtube will notify you when i put in my next video so until next time enjoy the holidays god bless have merry christmas happy new year you have a good one bye